Praise the Lord, everyone. And thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to join us on tonight. I am so excited about this word that the Lord has downloaded on today. I am excited because God is about to blow your mind with this word. Listen, before we go any further, please tag someone, share with someone, your family members, your friends, anybody that you know. This word on tonight, listen, is about the protection of God. God, I, I, I had been fasting all day. I didn't have to work today, so I was at home. And today was just a beautiful day. I got to lay in the presence of the Lord all day long and just bask in his glory. And the thing that he kept giving me, he gave me a, a word for some specific people and I reached out to them. But the word that he gave me for the broadcast on tonight, he said, let them know that I am their protection. And I began to um, think about all that was going on in the world, all the prayer requests that I get. And God began to tell me, he said, but let them know. He says, tell them I am their protection. And I said, God, what are you saying? And, and he said, he that abided under the shadow. I said, okay, here we go. And so our whole topic tonight is going to be on Psalms 91. I am excited about this word because listen, after God downloaded this word to me, it wiped me out. Not only that, but listen, when God gave me this word about his protection and he began to tell me, what does that mean when you abide under my shadow? My God, listen, he said, I am everything that you need, daughter. He said, I am your source. I am your strength. I am your way in. I'm your way out. And so I began to think on this and the tears just begin to flow because God began to show me, listen, how he has been there every step of the way. He said, in your darkest hour, I was there protecting you. He said, in fact, he said, when you were going through, he said, I was right there protecting you. In fact, God said to tell some of you on tonight that, my, that your rejection, listen, your rejection, that no, that door that closed in your face, God said, tell them I was protecting you. Listen, I'm ready to go. Let's open up with a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you for what it is you're going to speak to us on tonight. Dear God, we thank you for being our protection. We thank you for being our way in, our way out. We thank you for every open door, God, and we bless you for every door that you close. Dear God, we give you glory for about what, what you're about to speak to your people on tonight. Dear God, I ask right now, God, that you anoint the ears of every listener, God that they will hear you clearly, they will hear you as never before. Dear God, anoint their eyes that they see you in this word on tonight, dear God. I ask that your anointing saturate that atmosphere where they sit, dear God. That nothing that Satan do would hinder the word from going forth on tonight. Say no that on tonight the blood of Jesus can restrain you. Say no that on, to the, on tonight that the blood of Jesus, it stops you dead in your tracks. You are annihilated by the blood of our God. So God, we give you praise on tonight for what you're about to do in this word, in this session with your people to God. I thank you and praise you in advance for every seed, every seed that is sown, that it would advance your kingdom, that it would advance the gospel. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Listen, let's jump right in tonight. I already told you a little bit. It is Psalms 91. I'm going to jump right in because I don't want to be too long on tonight, but I want to give you this word because you know I'm never out of a word, I just run out of time. I try my best not to go over an hour to respect your time on tonight. Listen, Psalm 91, what is God saying tonight? He said, tell my sons, tell my daughters, I got them. Listen, he said, I got you. He said, I don't care what it looked like, what it sound like, I'm protecting you in this thing. Listen, 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 listen. He says, you don't understand that sometimes that door that I shut, I'm trying to get to this word, but I feel y'all pulling on this prophetic. He says, that door that I shut, that thing you were praying about that I didn't bring it to pass, number one, you wasn't ready. He said, number two, I was protecting you. He said, number three, he said, understand, in all things, I got you. What did he say in his word? Those that are in the palm of my hand, nothing can pluck you out. Listen, not even Satan himself, God told me to tell you tonight. In fact, in order for Satan to do anything to you, he got to get permission first. Listen, so if God give him permission to do something, if God give him permission to allow something, oh God, here we go. He said, if I give him permission, he said, tell my sons, tell my daughters, understand I got a better way out. He said, understand I have something higher. He said, in fact, oh, okay, here we go. He said, maybe that thing that you were praying for was too low. He said, so I couldn't give you that because you wasn't praying high enough. He said, oh, don't get upset because I didn't give you that thing that you thought you needed right then and there. He said, I got bigger for you on the other side. Listen, let's go, let's go. Psalms 91 
And I'm gonna read this out of the message Bible because I like how this reads better. It says, you who sit down in, in, in the high God's presence, spend the night in Shaddai's shower, oh, oh God, in Shaddai's shadow. Say this, God, you're my refuge. I trust in you and I am safe. That's right. He rescues you from hidden traps, shields you from deadly hazards. Oh my God, listen. His huge outstretched arms protect you. Under them, you're perfectly safe. Woo. Oh God, I love you. His arms fend off all harm. Fear nothing. Not wild wolves in the night, not flying arrows by day. My God, come on somebody. Not disease that prowls through the darkness, not disaster that erupts at high noon. Even though others succumb all around you, listen, they drop like fires left and right. No harm will come near you. Oh God, I love you. No harm will come near you. You'll stand untouched. Watch it from all distance. Watch the wicked turn into corpse. Yes, because God is your refuge. My God, I love you. The high God, your very own home. Evil can't get close to you. Listen. Evil can't get close to you. Harm can't get through your door. He orders his angel, my God, to guard you wherever you go. Listen, listen. If you stumble, they will catch you. Their job is to keep you from falling. Oh God, listen. Their job is to keep you from falling. You'll walk unharmed among lions and snakes, my God, and kick young lions and serpents from their path. If you hold on to me for dear life, says God, oh Lord, I love you, I'm about to lose it. I'll get you out of any trouble, oh God. I'll give you the best of care. If you only get to know and trust me, Ooh, call me and I will answer you. Be at your side in the bad times. I'll rescue you. Then I'll throw a party for you, oh God. I'll give you a long life. Give you a long drink of salvation. My God, my God today. When you get time, I want you to read. Listen, read the message Bible, how it breaks this thing down. Listen, listen. He says, I send my angels. Even if you stumble, they're going to catch you. My God, listen, listen, listen to our God is talking over here tonight. Listen, Psalm 91. This is the assurance to those. What is God saying? This is what I do if you just trust me. Listen, listen, listen. It says, and I, some of this I'm gonna give it to you out of the King James because that's what we, that's what we, that's what we realize. That's what we recognize the most. He that abides under the shadow of the Almighty, mighty God. That's what we recognize. It says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High God. God has a secret place of His own. Listen, Psalm 27 talks about this. Psalm 27 and Psalm 31 talk about the secret place. My God. The secret place, and it is a place that you are not to just visit. Listen, it's not a place for you to visit. It is a place for you to live there. He that dwells, that means you remain under his protection. My God today, listen, those who dwell there abide under the shadow of the almighty God, knowing his protection, comfort, and care. The secret place, listen to this, the secret place. It is the dwelling place of God's people, his chosen. Everybody can't go there. Oh God, listen, oh God, I'm about to lose it tonight. Listen, everybody can't go there. The secret place is for his is for his chosen. It is the habitation. It is supposed to be your home. It is where you dwell, where you live. It is the most central chamber of the dwelling place, referring to it as the secret place. Oh God, the secret place. And describe what is it called the secret place? Because there you are under tight security. Who are who, who has you under, under tight security? God has you there. Listen, he says nobody can break into this chamber. Nobody when you get there, Satan himself can't touch you. Oh God, here we go, here we go. The secret place of the most high, that is for everyone who puts their trust in. God, some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but I trust in the name of my God. Listen, listen, every child of God looks towards the inner sanctuary and the mercy seat. Listen, yet all do not dwell in the most holy place. They run to it at times. Listen, what God, God's about to speak. Listen, okay, Holy Ghost. 
He says, don't run in there at, at, when, when you just need to. He said, I need you to dwell there. Oh, watch the, oh God, yes, God. He says, I need you to dwell there, Kanisha. Why? Because when trouble comes, if you already in the secret, oh God, if you already in the secret place, Jackie, he said, no harm shall come nigh thee. Listen, listen, because you're already in the secret place. You don't run there when trouble come. You dwell there. Oh, oh God, I love you. Oh God, okay, here we go. He says, he says, listen, 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 listen. The shadow of the almighty. This is an expression which implies great nearness. A shadow hides you, it overtakes you. Listen, listen. We must walk very close to a companion if we would have his shadow to fall on us. Oh God, oh God, here we go. You have to walk close beside, I want you guys to, to get this in your mind. If the sun is shining, if the sun is shining, Maureen, and you and your daughter are walking, she can't step in your shadow. Oh, huh, God. She can't step in your shadow unless she's close to you. What is God saying tonight? You can't abide under my shadow if you don't have a relationship with me. What is God saying tonight? You can't abide under my shadow if you're not close to me. We talked about this last week. So in order to be in his shadow, you have to be close to him. You have to have relationship with him. That is why, oh God, here we go. That is why not everybody is under the shadow. Why? Check their relationship. Oh God, here we go. He said, check your relationship. He that abided under the shadow of the almighty God. That means you have to be close to him. Huh? The sh you can't be under a shadow if you far out left, if you too far out right, but you gotta be right here in order to get under the shadow. Oh. Oh, God, I love you. Let, let, let me keep moving. So listen, the first two verses of Psalm 91 use four wonderful titles. They use four wonderful titles for the names of God. They use Elyon, the Most High, Shaddai, Almighty, Yahweh, the Lord, Elohim, my God. Listen, he is, why, why, is, it, why is it saying this? What is, it, what is those names of God saying? What are those names of God saying? He is my refuge and my fortress. Listen. You can't get through a fortress. Oh, God, listen, listen. The one who lives intimately with God knows the greatness of his protection. Listen, they know the greatness of his protection. God himself becomes like a mighty refuge. He's like a fortress for the believer. How do I know? How do I know that? Watch this. Because when the enemy came in to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and they fell. I love, God. My, I love to hear my mother um, quote this scripture. She knows this by, she knows most of the Psalms by memory. But, but I love this one. When, when, when my enemies come and they eat up my flesh, they stumble and they fail. Why did they stumble and they fall? Because I was under the shadow. God had put me under the fortress. I was under his record so they could not destroy me. Who am I talking to tonight? When you are under his refuge, that means you're under his care. That means you're under his protection. That means like mighty armor has went around. What, what, what did Job say? What, what did Satan say? You have a hedge of protection around you. Oh, God. What is God saying tonight? That hedge of protection is around you. I am your mighty fortress. I am your refuge. Watch this. My, when God, when you say God is my refuge, that means fleeing from all others. Listen, God shelters you from the windy storm. My God. And the tempest. From the horror. That means anything that causes you stress. Listen to this. It means when you say God is my refuge, he protects you from what causes stress. If you stress, are you abiding? Well, God, who am I talking to? If you stress, are you under the shadow of the almighty? Listen, listen, watch this, watch this. And I, I, let me put a pin right there because I don't want you to think because you're going through don't mean you're not, I'm gonna get to that later. That does not mean that you're not, you're not abiding under the shadow. Watch this. this. This is what God is saying. How close are you to me? Oh God, watch this. How close are you to me? When, when, when you say God is my refuge, that means you're fleeing from all others. God shelters you from the windy storm and the tempest, from the horror or the stresses by day and the pestilence. Watch this. He protects me from the pestilence. What is pestilence? Pandemic, epidemic, diseases by night from man and the devil. Well, oh God, what is he saying? When you abide under the shadow, I am protecting you from all manners of evil, from man and Satan. 
What, what is God saying? Watch, let me keep going. Let me keep going. My God in him, I will trust. The closing, the close relationship with God and all the benefits that come from it are for those who know Yahweh. Well, God, listen, you only get this type of protection when you know him. Listen, you only get this type of protection when you're under the shadow. I can't be under the shadow if I'm too far left, if I'm too far right. To be under the shadow means I'm walking right beside him. I'm walking right beside him. He walks with me. He talks to me. He tells me that I'm his own. Listen, I'm walking right beside him. I have relationship. We know each other. Watch this. And it says, and it says, as a believer receives his protection, comfort, and care, he trusts God all the more and increasingly knows him as his God. Watch this. The more, oh God, here we go. The closer I am to him, and the more that the devil tries, and the more that I see God block, the more I trust him. Listen, if, if, if I never knew God to be a healer, I wouldn't trust him to heal me when I get sick now. Listen, but the longer, but as long as I was walking with him through all those sicknesses, through all those, those illnesses, through all the surgeries, I was walking with him all the time. Listen, and I kept seeing him deliver, 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 deliver. So it's nothing now for me to get sick in my body. Why? Because I know I walk with him. I seen him do it before, so I trust him. I seen him be my deliverer before, so I trust him. Every time I'm walking with him and he brings me out, it is increasing my faith. Listen, it is increasing my trust in him. Watch this. Let me keep going. How God brings his protection, comfort, and care. The devil and his agents, listen to this. The devil and his agents often work as fowlers. What is fowlers? When it says protect you from the fowlers, watch this. What is the fowlers? They, a fowler is a hunter. Oh, oh God, this is going to bless y'all. Listen. A fowler is a hunter. Listen. Remember 1 Peter 5 and 8. Be alert and sober-minded. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a warring lion. Seeking whom he may devour. And, and right here in this psalm, it says, he, the devil and his angels often work as fowlers. They are hunters. They are looking. They don't get tired. They don't give up on their job. So even when God blessed us and we start shouting bucket, God did it again. God, only God can do it. And we start doing all that and we get excited and we let our guard down. Satan didn't. Satan didn't let his guard down. Watch this because he's constantly constantly seeking whom he may devour. And the minute you bucking and shouting, he's looking for another way in. He never let up. It may look to us like, oh, well, he not bothering me right now. No, he never let up. He didn't get tired on his assignment. Watch this. The fowler works. Listen, the fowler works in secret. The fowler changes his traps and his methods. Not a new trick, same trick, different trap, different method. Same trick. Well, listen, listen, I'm exposing tonight. Watch this. The most striking feature of this section, when you get to this section of the psalm, I'm talking about verses three through four, and the ones that come after this, is the use of the singular you throughout, which is a way of saying that these truths are for each person individually. That means God is speaking to each one of us. They are for you if you, are, if you will truly trust and abide in God. Listen, listen. He says, and I will protect you from the perilous pestilence. He protects his people in times of plague and disease. That is why we had to get to Psalm 91. It deal with what we're dealing with now. Pestilence, you got COVID, you got Omicron, you got all this stuff. He says, I'm going to protect you. It may come near you, but it won't, it won't kill you. Listen, listen, it may come, it may come near you, but it won't kill you. Watch this. Why? Because you abide under the shadow. Watch this. This does not mean that those who trust in God will never die. Listen, let's make this clear. That don't mean you won't suffer. That don't mean you won't die. It means that those who trust God are habitually delivered. Oh, oh God, listen, you are habitually delivered. What did I say earlier? Because he healed me, he healed me, he healed me, he healed me. I have a habit of getting healed. Listen, I'm used to getting healed. I, why? Because I have so much trust in him and in his word that he is a healer. Listen, it says, it says, it means that those who trust God are habitually delivered from such dangers. I'm going to deal, deal with the other side of this because I, 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 I feel you right now. I'm going to deal with the other side. What, what, what happened when my loved one 
They were trusting God. They got sick. They died. I'm coming down your street. Give me about five minutes. Listen, listen, listen. Children of God are not always immune from physical plague and pestilence, but they are ever guarded. Listen, they are guarded from destruction, destructive spiritual forces as they dwell in the secret place of the most high. What is he saying? Long as you're dwelling there, I'm guarded. Long as you're dwelling there, I got you. Long as you're dwelling there, I'm protecting you. But I need you to dwell there. Listen, 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 listen. Oh, God, I love you. I love you. He says, he says, let me go on down. He shall cover you with his feathers. This is a metaphor. I mean, it doesn't really mean what it says, but it, st but it stands for something different. Watch this. God is represented as a bird. He said, he said, tell them to think of me as a bird, sheltering their young chicks under their wings. My God, I love you today. He says, think of me as a bird, sheltering you under my wings. What is he saying? Anything, oh, come on, Holy Ghost. He says, anything that come to you gonna hit my wing before it hits you. Oh God, listen. He said, anything that come to destroy you gonna, gonna destroy my wing before it destroy you. Watch this. He says, he says, this is a symbol of union of power. Listen. He said, of the power that I have and the gentleness that I have for my children, I'm not going to let anything destroy you. I'm going to hide you under my wings. Listen, watch this, watch this. It says, it says, his truth shall be your shield and buckler. Oh, Lord, his truth shall be your shield and buckler. That means double armor. Oh, God, listen, listen. Double armor, double armor. He has, he has, has he who relies on the Lord. He says, when you rely on me, for me to be your shield and your buckler means that I'm going to give you double armor over you. Listen, it ain't going to touch you as long as you abide in me. Why the Hebrew word signifies something that is wrapped around a person for his and her protection. Listen, verse five and six, the result of God's protection and care. You shall not be afraid. Mm -mm. You shall not be afraid. Having God as a shelter and refuge. What, what is God saying tonight? He's giving you the tools that you need so you don't walk around in fear of COVID. You don't walk around in fear of disease. You don't walk around in fear of stress. You don't walk around living a life of what if, what if, what if, what if. I'm, I'm scared of you because you, you, you walk around like that. You're going to mess around and become schizophrenic. He says, give them, he said, give my sons and my daughters this word so they will learn that I got this. He said, give my sons and my daughters this word so they would know that no matter what stressors come in this world, I got. He says, give my sons and my daughters this word to let them know if I gave them a word, Lori, you need to run with it. He said, if I told you to do it, you got to do it. He says, you cannot live in fear. As long as you abide under the shadow of the almighty God, he said, I got you. Watch this. Watch this. He says, you shall not be afraid. Having God as shelter and refuge gives you strength and courage to his people. When God's people are stuck deep in fear, it is indication. Listen, if you ever deal with a person that is fearful, always afraid, always um, um, scared, what if this happened? I, I started to do it, but then I backed up. I trust God, but now I don't. I, I'm going to move on it, but now I don't. I, I want to move, but no, I'm away. I, 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 I got to go, but now, no, no, let me back up. You're living in fear. Watch this. Let me, let me tell you something. Living in fear is this. Oh, God, my finger hurt. It might be cancer. They might have to amputate it because my great great grandmama had had cancer in her finger. And so they had to cut off my great grandmama finger. So now, Lord, I must have. Yeah, they, they you are living in fear of the what ifs. Who am I talking to tonight? You can't live your life like that. You can't live it. Okay, somebody just said, please put your cash app up. Okay, you can't live your life like that. You can't live your life in fear. You have to live your life depending on God, knowing, knowing that he is your refuge. He is your refuge. He is your strength. He is your strong tower. Listen, listen, people ask, they tag them, um, text my phone saying, put your thing on so I can sew. I got to sew. I got to sew. So it's up on the screen. Amen. So let's, let's keep going. Listen, it says, you should not be afraid, but his children know the power of their God. Listen, and they know that he is in control. They know he won't fail. They know he won't come slack. So they don't live in fear. Some trust in chariots. 
Some trust in horses, but I trust in my God. Listen, so I don't live in fear. Why? Because I dwell on the secret place of the most high. Listen, listen. Oh, God, I love you today. It says, you, the result of God's protection, of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Listen, the psalmist represented all kinds of destruction that could come in all kinds of circumstances. So every, every area that could be touched is mentioned in this psalm. That's why he said, nothing of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Listen, it, it is letting you know the psalmist represents all kinds of destruction that could come in all kinds of circumstances. It could come by night, listen, or it could come by day. It could come at darkness, listen, or it could come at noonday. It could come as a terror or by an arrow, listen, as a pestilence or as, or as destruction. Whenever or however it comes, listen, God is able, my God, I love you today, to defend his people. What is he saying? When the arrows come, when the fowlers come, when the hunters come, when Satan and his imps come, are you going to abide under my shadow? You're going to abide under my wing and I'm going to hide you. And any arrow that try to hit you, it got to hit me first. My God, I love you today. Watch this, watch this. So verses seven through eight talks about the assurance of the believer. Watch this. A thousand may fall at your side. Oh God, here we go. God's protection, what is he saying? My protection can conquer anything, any odds. Any probability, God's protection and care could be so specifically focused that it can it can preserve one in ten thousand. Oh God, listen, what is he saying? If the arrows are coming and it's ten thousand people there with you, he's gonna protect you. Oh God, listen, listen. He says nothing can pull you from my protection when you are abiding under this shadow. Watch this. It is impossible that any ill should happen to the man who is beloved of the Lord. Listen, the most crushing calamities can only shorten his journey and hasten him to reward. Woo, God, listen, listen. What, what, what is God saying? He says, listen, and this is why this is why I brought this up earlier. Because some of us say, well, my loved one had COVID. They died. They were abiding under the shadow. Watch it. What, what is God saying? Listen, he says, anything that could come, that will cut your life short. It didn't really cut your life short. Oh, he said what he said. It got you quicker to your reward. Oh, God, I love you. We live to, what does what, what it say? To, to die is gain when you die in the Lord. Watch this. He said, so if he said, so could it be, or it is, not could it be, it is when pestilence come, I'm abiding under the shadow. I'm doing everything God said. I'm protect. I'm, I'm trusting him as my protection, as my healer, as my God, as my source, my strength. Watch this. And then evil come and it take me out. I got my reward. Oh God, listen, y'all got to get this tonight. If they take you out, you made it to your reward. You made it to the end result. What are we living saved for? What are we living holy for? To make it in. Oh, oh God. So if it take me out and I'm abiding under the shadow, I need y'all to rejoice. Listen, if it take me out and y'all know that I'm living holy, y'all know I was abiding under the shadow, y'all know that I trust it. I'm going to need y'all to rejoice in my service. Listen, why? Because she made it in. What was all the screaming and hollering about? What was all the sold out about? What was the worship and warfare about? What was God's girl about? What was going live on Facebook every Monday for 65 episodes about? It was so I could make Oh, God, who am I talking to tonight? Let, let, let me keep going. Losses enrich him. Sickness is his medicine. Reproach is his honor. Death is his gain. Oh, God, let me say that again. Oh, God, I love you. Losses enrich him. Sickness is his medicine. Reproach is his honor. Listen, death is his gain. No evil in the strictest sense of the word can happen to him. For everything in God is overruled for good. Listen, everything in God is overruled for good. Now, let, 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 let me, let me, let me um, bring it, make it a little bit plainer. If I get sick in my body and God healed me, he got the glory. Listen, now everybody know me know oh, God is a healer. Watch this. If I got sick in my body and I fought it all the way to the end and I succumbed to the sickness, Y'all need to shout at my service because I made it in. Listen, it's overruled by good. Oh, God, listen, listen, listen. Watch this. 
Let, let, let me keep going. Let me keep going. I can stay there for a minute. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place. Watch this. The principle and promises in verses 10 through 16 are directed toward those who trust in the Lord, making him their dwelling place, their source of life and satisfaction. Their source of life and satisfaction. Listen, God woke me up. God woke me up. And it's been, it's, this has been happening for about a week. Every night, maybe three, four o'clock. He'll wake me up. And the first thing that hit my mind is, God, I love you more than anything. When I open my eyes, that's what the first thing. God, I love you more than anything. God, I owe you me. God, I thank you. And, and, and a lot of times you'll see me post something. They'll be like, I don't know. Like, Why is she up at like two o'clock in the morning? He woke me up and just reminded me of our relationship. Listen, when you abide under the shadow of the almighty, let, oh, let, let me put a pin right there. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When you abide under the shadow of the almighty and God wakes you up at odd hours of the night or in the day, because some of us work night shift, watch this. And he wakes you up at this time of night, at this time of day, watch this. What is he saying? I want to commune with you. I want to talk to you. Watch this. You in relationship. If you're married and your husband tap you on the shoulder and say, baby, I just want to talk. What do you do? You roll over, you talk. Watch this. So when, when you are in an intimate relationship with God and he taps you on your shoulder, Deacon Tabard, and he taps you on your shoulder over in the midnight hour, what do you do? You get up and you talk to him. Listen, I want to see what you want. I, I, I want to know, is it something you want to show me? Is it something you want to reveal to me? Is it something that all God has been doing with me? All God has been doing with me for the past couple of weeks is waking me up to remind me of our relationship. And, and I just, and before I know it, tears are just flowing. And he's saying, you, I, you owe me your life. You owe me your life. Don't forget the assignment that's on your life. I know that, I know what else is going on. I know what people are saying. Don't forget the assignment. Don't forget the assignment. Remember our agreement. Remember what I birthed you for. Remember what I bought you out of. And he will keep reminding you. Listen, of that when he wakes you up. Let me get back on this. Okay, listen, listen, listen. He says, um, no evil shall befall thee. So we know that no, nothing shall come nigh thee, nothing shall harm you. Watch this. For he shall give his angels, here we go, here we go. For he shall give his angels charge, he shall give it all my shit. He shall give his angels charge over thee. Watch this. Oh God, I feel you. He says, this describes another way God may send his protection. Remember, first it was his wings. Mm. He said, first, I'm going to hide you with my wings. He says, and then there are times when I'll send my angels, listen, to protect you. Watch this. He says, I will give, I will give my angels charge over you. This describes another way God may send his protection and care unto his people through his angels, not, listen, commanding them to keep and bear you up. You won't, oh God, listen, he said, you won't fall. He says, when I think you're going to fall, I'm going to send my angels to catch you before you slip. Oh, God, listen, to hold you up when you weep. He says, I'm going to send my angels to be right there with you. That's what he said he's going to do tonight. Listen, 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 listen. Oh, God, I love you. He says, he says, the angels of God shall have an, a, a special charge. Listen, to accompany you, to be there with you. Listen, the ain't God gives his angels special charge. To be there with you, to, to, to defend you, and to preserve you. Whoa, listen, to be with you, to defend you, and to preserve you against the power, the influence of evil spirits. And when he do this, they cannot prevail. Oh, God, listen, he says they cannot prevail. Watch this. Not one guardian angel, as some fondly dream, it's not just one. Listen to this word tonight. He says, all the angels are, in this scripture, he's talking about all the angels, listen, are, 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 are sent to preserve, to accompany, and to, what, what is it? Let me see. To accompany, to defend, and to preserve you. He says, all of them, not one. Watch this, watch this. They have received commission from the Lord himself. And they have they have received commission from their Lord and ours to watch carefully 
over all the interests of the people. Listen, he says, I'm sending my angels, not one. I'm sending my angels to preserve, to defend, and to uphold you. Listen, he says, not one, all of them. Watch this, watch this. This is, this is, this is powerful. Listen, this should remind you that, oh God, I love you. Here we go. This should remind you of how Satan used the same scripture. I'm going to show, and, and God, I love you tonight. I'm going to show you what Satan does. Watch this. Satan quoted the same scripture to Jesus. What? Watch this. Um, it's Matthew 4, 5 through 7, Luke 4, 9 through 12. Listen. So the promise in verse 11 and 12 was quoted and twisted. Listen. Quoted and twisted by Satan in his temptation of Jesus in the wilderness. Satan tempted Jesus to create an artificial crisis. Remember this. Artificial crisis. You come to throw yourself down and God has sent a legion of angels. Watch this. He said, throw yourself from a high point on the temple mount. And Satan quoted Psalms 91, 11 through 12 as a promise of protection if Jesus were to do this. Listen. Listen. Oh, God, I love you. I love you. I'm exposing him tonight. Satan quoted part of the scripture. Listen, he says, throw yourself off and God will send angels to, to catch you before you fall. Even if your foot, gee, God, I didn't want to let your foot even strike up against a rock. Watch this. As Matthew 4 records, Satan's Satan quotation of Psalms verses 11 and 12 is a, pat is a pattern of how he twists the word of God. Listen, Satan will twist the word of God. So listen, that, that's why I always tell you, you got to pray, you got to ask, you got to make sure you know that it is God speaking. Listen, even with, if Satan did this with Jesus, what you think he's going to do with you? Okay, okay, let, let me keep moving. Verses, and, verses 11 and 12 were falsely quoted because the devil, Satan, left out the words to keep you in all your ways. He didn't give him all of the scripture. He just quoted a little bit of it. He left out He left out the words to keep you in all your ways. To test God in this way was not Jesus' way. It was not the way of the Savior. God had never promised nor ever given any protection of angels in a sinful, listen, they're not going to protect you in your mess. What is it saying? God had never promised nor get, ever given any protection of angels in sinful and forbidden ways. Listen, an angel not gonna protect you in your mess. Listen, Satan will twist scripture. You gotta study this word for yourself. You got especially on especially with, with all these prophets, prophets now. You gotta study it for yourself. Satan is always will always twist the truth. Understand this. Listen, he is the father of lies. This is what he do. He on his job 24 seven. If you super deep, he gonna try to twist it. Trust me, if you super deep, you always, God said, God said, God, okay. Satan gonna, Satan gonna twist that word. And we are gonna see if you can rightly divide that word. Listen, this is why the Bible says you should be able to rightly divide the word. You can listen, if I'm a body, okay, here we go. If I am a body under the shadow of the almighty God, which means I am right next to him. I am close to him. We are in relationship. You can't twist his words. Why? Because I know his voice. My sheep know my, oh, here we go. My sheep know my voice, a stranger they will not follow. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Lord, I love you tonight. Here we go. Um, listen. Okay, yeah, y'all just do the cash app. I'm, I'm doing this. God bless you. Um, th this text is wrongly applied because it was not used to teach or to encourage, watch this, but intended instead to deceive, making this word a promise to be fulfilled upon Christ's neglect of his duty. What was Satan telling him? Forget about your assignment. Oh God, who am I talking to? Satan was telling him, listen, 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 Tracy. Satan was telling him, he said, forget about your assignment. Forget about that you're here because you got to die. Forget about the fact that you're here because you got to go to the cross. Forget about why God sent you in the earth in the first place. Listen, listen, listen to Satan. Forget about all that. You can escape having to do that. You can abort the assignment. 
You can abort the assignment. And, and, and God, because you his son, he going to send his angels to get you. Oh, God, who am I talking to? When we try to find, listen, 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 Jazika, this is going to bless you. When we try to find the easy way out, when we try to find a way, an easy way to do that assignment that God has put on our life that we know we can't get, it won't leave our mind. So we try to find an easier way to do it. Listen, let me tell you, I used to want, and listen, you have to understand my life. The, 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 the um, anointing or the power or the call of the preacher has been prophesied over my life since I was about 10. Listen, so I was playing church, acting like the preacher when I was a little girl. So watch this. I always knew the voice of the Lord. But when I got of age and when God kept saying, now, 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 I need you to go now. I need you to do it now. I need you to do it now. And, and then this is going to get personal. Listen. And, and so the first thing I did is I figured, okay, I would join the choir. So I used to always love to sing on the choir. The problem with the choir was I couldn't contain myself. Every song that would just hit my spirit and I'd go in tongues. I, I couldn't I couldn't help myself. Trina, you know, they know I used to sing on the choir with all of them. I couldn't help myself. So I had to get off the choir. So then I said, okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to teach Sunday school. I'm going to do this. And I'm just going to go to Sunday school. I'm just going to study the word of God. And I'm going to do this. And I was like, okay. Okay, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do not do that either. Watch this. So it got so bad. Listen, it got so bad to I sat there. And all I could see, and I can see myself just as clear as there's like a movie plan. All I would be brushing my teeth. I look up in the mirror and I would see thousands of people. Listen, Lord have mercy. I would go to sleep and I could hear the souls crying out, help me, help me, help me, help me. I, I, I would be doing something in school at school and, and and I would begin to see what people are dealing with flash right up in front of my eyes. I mean, I was a central Pima. I took off running because I couldn't I, I couldn't help it. Listen, I, I I was running so hard from what God told me to do and Satan was giving me all these outs. Join the choir, be a greeter, be a usher, teach Sunday school. And I was trying but nothing was working. Listen, until I went to say listen, listen, I went to Bishop Carlton, I said, what what, what what you want me to do? What you want me to do? Because if I don't do this, I know I'm going to go crazy. Listen, it was so bad, I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't do nothing because all I could hear was the souls in my ear saying, come and get me, come and get me, come and get me, come and get me. And then I remember one time my aunt told me, she said, you know what? People are going to die waiting on you. And it scared me to death. It literally scared me to death. Listen, and this is what Satan would do to try to get you to avoid the assignment. He'll give you all these other little things you can be busy doing. And it's nothing like what God called you to. Listen, it's nothing like what God told you to do, but you'll be busy doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it until you submit to the will of God. Listen, let me get back on this. It says, it says, it says, the text was wrongly applied because it was not used to teach or encourage, but instead it was used to deceive. Satan gave Jesus the word of God to try to deceive Jesus. Listen, listen. So he gave him the word and tried to deceive him, making this word a promise to be fulfilled upon Christ's neglect of his duty. Oh, God. Wait a minute. I don't know who this is for. Listen, 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 listen. Oh, God, I love you. You cannot neglect what God is telling you to do to make yourself feel better. Because that is what Satan is telling you. That is what Satan is telling you. If you just do it this way, you'll feel better. You ain't got to go all the way out there on the limb by yourself. Other people don't try that and they fail. That is why God needs you to try it. Because it won't fail this time. Woo! God, I love you. Listen, listen, let me keep going. The angels was there to help Jesus in his temptation, just not in the way that Satan told him. Listen, listen. The, the, next, the next verse says, you shall tread upon the lion and the and the cobra. The protection of God to his people extends beyond the general deliverance. That means it's deeper than he just going to keep you from harm or he going to keep you from harm's way. It also speaks of a general granting of victory. Listen, when he says you shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, he said you shall get the victory. What, what do I always say? You're going to get the victory, but the glory always going to belong to God. Listen, listen. These words are, these words show that you are not just a survivor, listen, but you are a victor who trampled deadly enemies under your foot. Oh God, listen, who trampled deadly enemies under your foot. Listen, 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 verses 14 through 16. 
Psalms 91 verses 14 through 16. God promised to God's promise to a to and blessing over the one who loves him. For the people that trust him, what he saying? Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. Oh God, listen, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I'm going to answer. Oh, oh God, I will be with you in trouble. I will deliver you and honor you. I will give you long life. Which I will satisfy you watch it, and show you my salvation. Listen, because he has set his love upon me. To set one's love upon God means to do it by choice. Listen, listen. Listen, you have a choice in the matter. He said, love me by choice, not because you have to. Oh, oh God, I love you. He said, to set your love upon me means that you made a choice to love me. He does, God does not wait for the feeling of love to come, but simply choose to think and act toward God in ways that express and build love. How, how, do, I, how do I show God that I love him? Watch this. Spending time with him. Listening to him. Reading what his what reading his word, speaking to him. That means not just always getting in his presence and begging. Listen, he says, taking time to just listen to what I want to say. Be silent in my presence sometime and let and allow me to speak. Watch this. Thinking of God in unoccupied moments. Any given remember, I just told you. God is starting to wake me up at different times of night and sit there just to remind me of his love or to remind me that he's there. And I take that time. What did I tell you earlier? When God taps you on the shoulder in the middle of the night, different at all times of the night, you better get up. He wants to commune with you. He's basically saying, I missed you. Let's talk. Let me reveal something to you. Let me show you something. Let, 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 me, let, me, let, me, let me be with you at this, at this midnight hour. Watch this. Uh, what does it mean to, to, to set your love on him? Adore him. Speaking to God, speaking about God to other people, giving to God and making glad sacrifices to him and for him. Listen, God promises of Psalms 91. And I'm about to wrap up. God promises of Psalms 91. Therefore, I will deliver you. The promises and principles stated previously in this psalm are repeated again. But this time from the perspective of God himself. What is he saying? of God himself. Listen, listen, listen. He will, God will protect his beloved and set him on high. Oh, and do it because he has known my name. Look, oh God. He said, I'm going to set you on high. Listen, because you know my name. That is my child. He said, she know my voice. A stranger, she ain't going to follow. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, he says, I'm going to set you on high. That means I will place you out of reach of all your enemies. Oh, God, listen, they may come nigh thee, but they won't touch you. He said, you're going to be out of reach of all of them. Watch this. He said, you shall call upon me. And I'm going to answer. Not maybe, not willing, not can. He said, oh, I'm going to answer. Why? Because you're abiding under the shadow. You're right near me. You can't be under my shadow and be too far left or too far right. You got to be right here. He said, you are abiding under my shadow. So when you call, I'm going to answer. God promises to answer the prayer of the one who loves him. And the one who genuinely knows his voice. Oh, God, listen, listen. I, what, what is God saying? Listen, listen to this. Listen, this right here is going to bless you. What else is God saying? I will be with you. The blessing of his presence I will be with I will be with you in trouble. The blessing of his protection, I will deliver you. The blessing of his promotion. Listen, the blessing of his promotion, I will honor you. Listen, the blessing of his prosperity with long life, I will satisfy. Now, what is he saying? You're gonna live a good life. You're gonna live a good life. Watch this. He says, the blessing of his pers of his pers perseverance. He preservation, sorry. He said that I will show my salvation. He says, listen, 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 I'm, I'm about to close with this. He says, as long as you are abiding under that shadow, as long as you right there with me, as long as you have relationship with me, as long as you know my voice, he says, I'm going to be with you. He says, I'm going to protect you. He says, Satan going to try to twist that word, but it ain't going to get you. He said, watch. He said, even, he said, no, he said, if the harm that come by day or the harm that come at night won't be able to touch you. Why? Because you abiding in the secret place of the almighty God. He said, I'm going to cover you with, 
He said, I'm going to cover you with my wings. He said, not only that, he said, you're going to have a double honor. Listen, a double honor, a protection around you. He said, whatever come near you, it won't harm you. What did he say? He said, if it come near you and I allow it to harm you, he said, and I allow you to leave this earth, that's because you just made it in. Oh, who am I talking with? That's why the Bible say those that die in God, they die in gain. They die in glory. We are to rejoice. He says, if the enemy come and he take you out, you still win it, baby. Listen, listen, I love you with the love of God on tonight. I put the cash app up early because some people were already asking me, let me sow, let me sow. So they began sowing early in this message. If you did not hear the beginning, listen, go back, go back and listen to the beginning. This is a powerful word. I ask everybody to share this word because God wants us to know, I got you. I'm protecting you, but make sure you're in a position to be protected. Listen, make sure you're in a position to be protected. Listen, I love you. God bless you. The information is on the screen if you want to sow into the word. If you have any, any prayer requests, listen, get the prayer request to me. You can inbox me um, however you want to get the prayer request to me. And listen, whatever you do, y'all know I keep saying, whatever you do, do not miss our in-person. I don't even know. I don't know if I should call it. It's not a service. Listen. God come through and he wrecked the place. You want to talk about miracle signs and wonders? Listen, February, February the 4th, I will, it will be on my page. I'll share it at the end of this. You got to be there. Listen, I am excited about the word of God. I'm excited about what he's doing. I'm simply his vessel. And whatever he give me, that's what I'm going to say. If he ain't got nothing to say, I'm not coming on here. Listen, so meet me in the place on February the 4th. You won't be disappointed. Listen. God is in the miracle working business. I'm just sitting back in awe of everything God is doing in this season. Listen, you don't want to miss it. Make sure you're there. I love you. If you need me, make sure you reach out. So you can inbox me, text me, however you want to get in, cut, in touch with me. I will pray with you. I'll pray for you. Uh, if you want to sow, the information is on the screen. You're sowing into good ground. Listen, if many of you know, know my ministry, proof, follow my ministry. You know about the, the deliverance, the healings. Those that was needing a the kidney, they got kidneys. People needing houses, they got houses. Pro people needing properties, they got properties. People needing cars, they got cars. Listen, truth follows this mission. If you want to sow, the information is on the screen. If you sow and you have a prayer request, listen. If you sow and you have a prayer request, please put it there or inboxing because I labor in prayer. You're not just sowing. I'm just like, okay, yeah, whatever. Thank you. No, I labor in prayer over these seas. Many, many of my team, you know, I have a whole team. We pray together. We fast together. Listen, I've been, uh, I'm, I don't even know how many days I'm in on this fast, but I'm fasting. I'm believing God for, for many, many, many people, many miracles to take place. Listen, thank you for joining me on tonight. Again, if you want to sow, the information is on the screen. I love you and God bless you.